WXVT Delta News at 10. Welcome back to your Delta News at 10. Now here's that story on the day the Delta froze from our meteorologist, Steve Dreyer. Ice storm. Not a word Delta residents like to hear, but when forecasters predicted one was headed our way on February the 9th, 1994, we had no idea it would be as big as it was. The Delta was devastated. Basic essentials for life were stripped away. The immense weight of the ice brought down trees, and electricity was the first thing to go. And for many, it took weeks, not days, to restore. We were expecting a storm per se, but we weren't expecting what we got. We had telephone poles that were down from here to Rosedale. We had people in Bolivar County who were out of uh, electrical services for five, six, and seven weeks. Utility crews were immediately out in full force with additional personnel from 18 companies from surrounding states. Working 16-hour days trying their best to get power quickly restored, the poles snapped like twigs and power lines were laying across the streets. And the work they were doing didn't solve any immediate problems. And I realized over my right shoulder what was missing on the horizon was all the transmission lines that had all fallen down. And I didn't have the heart to go back and tell them that them trying to get the distribution line and four or five poles off the ground was a waste of time. The banks were closed. Mail couldn't even be delivered. Grocery stores operated on electricity supplied by generators as residents tried to buy just the basic essentials. Shelters opened across the Delta. It would be 14 days before all the schools in Greenville went back to class. But families prevailed using their wit, humor, and the Delta spirit to get them through. It was a pretty nice looking neighborhood and uh and at, and at night, uh, you, could, you could actually hear the trees popping. And I mean, it sounded like, like guns uh, popping and cracking and falling. And then uh, after, after it was all over, then, then of course you get to look around the neighborhood and you see, my goodness, what happened. Despite all the damage to property and landscape, only one person died in the aftermath of the ice storm, the result of a traffic accident. Over the next few years, evidence of the ice storm slowly faded. In Greenville, Steve Dreyer, WXVT, Delta News. It's amazing stuff. Mississippi suffered the most uh, up to five inches of snow, of ice in that area. It looked like a hurricane with ice came through, a record-breaking ice storm. You better believe it. Wow, amazing. Today in Greenville.